At 15 years old, never leaving New York State, I got the opportunity to work for some of the best chefs in Italy, live in Italy, really get immersed into the whole full Italian experience and culture. I think that when you cook, it's naturally emotionally charged because it, it comes from love, it comes from passion. I hope that when guests experience Brezza, Las Vegas, it really just transports them to Italy. Hi, my name is Nicole Brisson. I am the executive chef at Brezza at Resorts World Las Vegas. And this is Off the Menu with Hilton. Today we will be preparing the Bucatini Amatriciana. First you'll drop your Bucatini into the salted water and the Bucatini will cook for about eight minutes. We're gonna start assembling the sauce with some really good extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna add some strips of pork jowl. We're gonna let that render out with the oil, just to get nice and crispy. We're gonna add about the same amount of ribbons of red onion. What these are gonna do is they're gonna cook down into the pork fat, caramelizing with the pork. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of sea salt to help break down the onions. Nice crack of black pepper. This will take about five to six minutes. You just really want to caramelize the pork so it cooks with the onions and makes a really rich, deep, kind of sweet flavor profile. What I love most about Italian cuisine is you go to a new region and you experience new things every time you go. You're cooking from the land. You're, you're cooking seasonally. I think we've accomplished that here at Brezza by bringing some of these small farms to the table and really sourcing great products. Now that the pork's caramelized and crispy on each side, we're gonna mount with the tomato to really just incorporate with that pork fat. Add just a little bit of sea salt. You don't want to go too much because the pork naturally has a lot of solidity to it. Now you add your pasta, it's nice and al dente, so it's going to really start to absorb that sauce. The thing I love about the bucatini shape is it's got a hole through it, so it really captures that tomato. I'm going to add some of the pickled peppers, a little heat, adding the poached Fresno peppers, and a little bit of picked parsley. You can see it's becoming nice and cohesive. The noodle and the sauce are becoming one. A little bit of pecorino cheese here. So you always want to finish with a little bit of good olive oil so you just get that nice velvety texture. See the pasta pulling away from the pan a little bit. That means it's ready. And we're just going to top off with a little bit of fresh pecorino to finish. And now you're ready to enjoy your Bucatini Amatriciana. <laughs> this career finds you, you don't find it. It becomes like a dance when you're in the kitchen. We get the ability being independent that we can really just focus on beautiful, robust ingredients around you that inspire you every day and, and make you want to change the menu and get excited.